God people versus Christ people. God people versus Christ people. My name is Larry Jones, and I welcome you again in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Before I was born of the Holy Spirit way back in 1972, I was what one might call a God person. I talked to God, prayed to God, asked God questions, tried to please God. I went to church not only on Sundays, but often throughout the week. As a matter of fact, I was willing and wanting to give much of our meager family resources to further what I believe to be the purposes of God. Although I was a God person, I was nonetheless on the wide road that leads to perdition. My name was absent from the Lamb's Book of Life. It just wasn't there. I was a religious person, but certainly not a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then in February 1972, I became a Christian. I was born of the Holy Spirit. I marveled at this new life, the spiritual life that I entered into. Like every non-Christian, I never knew this spiritual life existed. It was an amazing discovery. I had become a true, legitimate, actual, adopted son of the living God. And now my speech changed, which was proof that I had indeed become a child of God. I began to speak Christ primarily. I talked to the Lord Jesus Christ perhaps for the first time ever. Yes, I also talk God, and I still talk God, of course, but Christ, God the Son, was my enthusiasm. Unintentionally, I spoke the overflow of my heart. I wasn't taught to. I simply spoke the overflow of what was inside. That's what everybody does, Christian and non-Christian. Lord Jesus taught out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Not only did I talk Christ, I also talked Father. Previously, I never called God Father. He was simply God. Perhaps you're familiar with Galatians 4 and 6. And because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his Son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. I assume every Christian experienced my experience at the time they were first born of the Spirit. All, I assume, spoke Christ. All were enthused about our Lord Jesus. All were, at the time of rebirth, what I call Christ people. What is a Christ person? A Christ person is one whose heart contains more of Christ than anything else. Christ is first love. A Christ person can be identified by his or her speech. A Christ person speaks Christ. A Christ person speaks Christ. Well, what is a God person? A God person is a person who speaks God primarily. A God person can be a Christian, a Christian who stopped being a Christ person. He could be much like me before I discovered my Redeemer. A God person speaks God frequently and Christ infrequently, even rarely. A Christian who is a God person was once a Christ person. A God person could be defined as a somewhat backslidden Christ person. So, does the Church of Christ consists mostly of God people or Christ people. Most overwhelmingly, the Church of Christ consists mostly of God people. People who, for whatever reason, avoid speaking Jesus' name. And although this might seem improbable, this can be substantiated by anyone who listens for the name of Jesus in conversations they are a part of or over here or anyone who reads Christian material, or anyone who sits under the ministry of pulpit people. Are there exceptions? Yes, definitely Christ people can be found in the Church of Christ. But sadly, very sadly, those exceptions are exceptional indeed. It takes little study to see that the speech of Paul and John are much different than modern Kelowna Christians, where Paul would say, 
praise to the Lord Jesus Christ, we are apt to say, praise the Lord. Whereby Paul would say, peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins, we are more likely to say, peace be with you. Paul wrote to the Corinthians, God always leads us in triumph in Christ. We would say, God always leads us in triumph. Paul to the Galatians, if I still please men, I would not be a bondservant of Christ. And we would say something like, if I wanted to please people, I wouldn't be a servant of God. Paul to the Romans, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. We might say, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Our speech is so very different because our hearts are so very different. Paul spoke from the overflow of his heart. We speak from the overflow of our hearts. Why do Christians avoid the name of Jesus? I will give some input on that matter sometime in the future. For now I say, check your heart by checking your speech. Check your heart by checking your speech. When was the last time, prayer excluded, you verbalized the name of Jesus to family or friends or acquaintances or strangers? Was it yesterday? Last week? Last month? Now I'm quick to quote Romans 8 and 1, the NLT, there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. Lord Jesus does not condemn and neither do I. Lord Jesus sets free anyone who asks to be set free. The Father prunes so that we might bear more fruit. The Holy Spirit is always leading us into truth. Repentance is the answer to most, perhaps every problem. We must continually repent to continually go forward to live a successful Christianity. If we have drifted from our first love, we must repent. If we have been ashamed to speak Christ, we repent. If we have wanted to please man more than please the Father, we repent. If we have been a follower of men rather than a follower of Lord Jesus, we repent. If we allowed ourselves to be governed by men rather than the most Holy Spirit, we repent. Repentance leads us into a better life than the life we now live. Do not allow your soul, your flesh, to control your speech. You, the born-again you, must determine your words. You determine what comes out of you. Be a warrior under the control of the Spirit. You might pray something like this, Lord Jesus, from this day forward, I will make a point of speaking your name before men, the saved and unsaved. This I will do by the grace you lavishly give to those determined to proclaim Jesus Christ and him crucified to his or her generation. Make me bold, Lord Jesus. Loosen my tongue to declare your beauty, your majesty, your wondrous salvation. Amen. Speaking Christ gets easier as you speak Christ. At first, it may seem awkward, unnatural, but in time, speaking the name of Jesus will become effortless and natural. And speaking Christ will draw you closer to Christ. Speaking Christ will draw you closer to Christ. Speaking that name will transform you. Declaring Christ will lead into a better, more pleasant, more fruitful life. Like really? Yes, like really, guaranteed. Now, I would really like to hear your reactions to this message. Like really. God bless you.